Welcome to Tom's Tips, a series of videos which aim to give a small amount of information that can make a big difference to your climbing. Recently I've been doing a bunch of on-siding and I've really enjoyed it and actually made quite a big breakthrough with my approach to on-site climbing. And it's taken me basically 20 years to work this out. I think on-siding is one of the biggest tests of your climbing skills. You've got to draw upon everything for this one moment on this one bit of climbing. And you see World Cup climbers in the finals just nail it and make it look like they've run laps on this before. Adam Onder is the same thing. You watch him run up something and you're like, huh? Are you sure this is the on-site and not your third go up it? Before I dig into that one key breakthrough that I had recently, I'd like to go over basically the sort of groundwork of what an on-site is all about. Essentially, aside from the obvious of making sure that the conditions are going to be pretty okay, it's not in the full sun if it's hot and blah blah blah, the big picture is working out hand, foot and body sequence before we leave the ground. So first of all, I'll run through a hand sequence and then I'll think about what my feet might be doing after that. So I'm then going to be thinking about what my hips are going to be doing, where I'm going to need to use momentum, where I'm going to need to potentially just drop the clutch and try really hard or just motor through an easy section and not burn myself out making a bit of a meal of what should be simple climbing. Once all this is done, we really step into the meat of what I've recently discovered. And really it's not anything new, but it's the fact that I've taken it from an idea that I've been mucking around with for a while and I've actually put it into practice. There's such a big gulf between theoretical knowledge and experience knowledge. Basically the idea that putting a concept or an approach under pressure in the field of play gives us way more than just thinking like, oh yeah, no, yeah, that, that's what I'm meant to do. Actually doing it is way more beneficial. For the last 20 or so years, my approach for a hard onsite has been with trepidation and fear and just kind of holding back a little bit. And most of the time this would end up being slow climbing, getting pumped because I was hanging onto the holds for too long, only to find that when I pull back on for a second go, I just motor through all of those sections, whiz my way to the top and go, damn, should have done that the first time because there was actually nothing that I'd learnt from that first go than the second go other than just having a bit of confidence that yeah, that is the hold that I thought it would be. That is a decent edge, that was a good rest. And so my new approach, which felt spicy honestly to actually commit to, was go full commitment from the very beginning. Pretend that this on-site go is actually my second, third or fourth go and that I've already got all of the information that I need and I'm just gonna run a lap up this thing. Far out, the difference that this made was enormous. I was hitting moves with way more confidence and going through sequences way quicker than I ever would have, which meant that I was fresher and able to attack the next sequence with way more juice in my arms. Yeah, sure, sometimes sequences do change a little bit and it's worth working out before you leave the ground, perhaps an option B or even an option C for some of those key sequences through a crux or something like that. Just being aware that maybe there's an option for a toe hook out here or maybe going right hand up to that hold off the rest could be an option. But the idea is when we make that commitment and go for that sequence, we go for it at full crack. And I'd been playing around with that for so long, but actually stepping over the threshold and fully committing to it, it feels really scary throwing for a hold and going, I hope this is the hold that I think it's going to be because if it's not, I'm off. But you've got to trust your intuition and your gut and risk maybe falling off a couple because maybe you've overcommitted to it. But I can tell you that the confidence that you gain from climbing from the bottom just to that point and committing 100% to each of the moves that you've done up to there feels so good. I'd really encourage you to try this next time you're at the gym or at the crag and give yourself an opportunity to learn and like really step into that full commitment headspace. It is a little bit scary if you're anything like me, but the benefits are insane. Yes, you might want to experiment a little bit and not really just like pull this out for the first time on your great big lofty on-site goal. Or maybe you can, but I am a big fan of practice and giving yourself an opportunity to really step into this confidently because at the end of the day, that is what all this is about, approaching our climbing with confidence. If you wanna check out one of my recent on-sites that I'm very proud of, you can check out this video right here. That's it from me for today. I'll see you next time.